Welcome to the latest chapter of Family Fiction's Christian Fiction Bookshelf Podcast. I'm your host, Jamie Vaughn. This chapter of the Christian Fiction Bookshelf Podcast is brought to you by Ravel, a division of Baker Publishing Group. Ravel offers practical books that bring the Christian faith to everyday life. Whether through fiction, Christian living, self-help, marriage, family, or youth books, each Ravel publication reflects relevance, integrity, and excellence. Today's episode of the Christian Fiction Bookshelf, we have author Susan May Warren here with her latest book, Sunrise. Hi, Susan. How are you? Hi. Great. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. So tell me about this book. I know it's the very first in a new series for you. It is. So it's a trilogy. And uh, basically, it's about three brothers who come home during the course of the series. Um, They're all in the military, different branches, and they come home to their dad's ranch, Sky King Ranch up in Alaska. And they do this because their dad is needs help. And he's a bush pilot, he can't fly anymore. And so one by one, they come home to help him. But in the middle of that, they sort of solve problems, and they find themselves embroiled in sort of a bigger picture event that happens throughout the course of the three books, and they get pulled back into sort of their military life and and maybe solving a problem that uh, that only they can solve, right, in sort of an epic adventure. So though all the books are uh, epic romantic adventure. And in this particular book, uh, the first one, Dodge, the oldest brother, comes home and, he, well, they're actually triplets, so he's the oldest triplet, and he comes home and he doesn't plan to stay, but he needs to fly for a little while to help his dad. But he left town because of a girl who broke his heart. And so when he comes back, he doesn't want to see her, but of course he has to because they're thrown together. And and the story really is about how they have to search for this missing Uh, There's a missing researcher. And so they have to work together to search for her. And then, of course, the girl he loves goes missing as well. And so it kind of ups the stakes. So it's a really fun story. If people like Alaska and adventure and second chance at love, that sort of thing. Yeah. So what was your inspiration for the book in the series? Well, I I had written another story years ago about their older sister, Lark, and I wrote a smoke jumping series. And so what happened was the smoke jumpers from Montana went to Alaska and they based out of this ranch. This is kind of a resort. So they based out of there and they used the bush plane to get to drop in because they're smoke jumpers. But they also the pilot of the bush plane. Her name was Lark. And so she was the oldest sister. And of course, we had a little romance with one of the smoke jumpers. Well, when she is flying one day she says yeah I have these three brothers are all in the military Mm -hmm. so that book was out and published and suddenly I had readers that started writing to me and saying well could you please tell the story of the three brothers "Hmm, okay so that's that basically my readers asked for it so I gave them to them gotcha now what's going to be the link that links the three um, books together sure so the in the first book the Dodge and Echo she's my heroine they find a woman uh, in the snow and woods mm-hmm. and she is nearly hypothermic and they save her life and but she does not she does not come back or to she's comatose mm-hmm. and so she is um, she's the kind of the ignition of this other plot. So I have like the main plot of the story, but then I have a series plot. And so it's that her arrival uh, ignites the series plot. So at the very, very end, oh, I don't want to tell what happens at the end. So <laughs> something happens though at the end that's really good and ignites the next story. God, I almost got into trouble there. <laughs> we could have had a spoiler, right? I know. I know. That would have killed me. <laughs> What do you want the reader to take away from this book? Well, it's really about forgiveness. So both the hero and the heroine have had traumatic betrayals in their life. And so what happens is that he has to learn to forgive someone who betrayed him. She also has to learn to forgive someone who's betrayed her, but there's also, so it's kind of like how betrayal gets in your heart and then starts to dig around and affects all your other relationships. Mm -hmm. So it very much is about betrayal. And then it's about forgiveness and how we often don't forgive for, well, we don't forgive for the other person. We forgive for ourselves and for our own health. And so we really kind of walk through that in this particular book. Okay. So um, a lot of your stories have danger and romance kind of all mixed together. Does that get tiring for you to write or is it 
fighting for you? Oh, I really enjoy it because I, I like epic adventure. And so anytime I can get in trouble with my hero or heroine and have someone else come alongside and get in trouble with them, I really enjoy it. I'm not as big on, you know, like I do have stories where there's bad guys and there's guns and shooting and that sort of thing, Mm -hmm. but I rather like stories about man versus the elements. I want to see how people survive. And so so those are the kind of stories I'm drawn to. And I, yeah, I always, I, I really enjoy it. I always try to figure out, well, what is something new, you know, mm-hmm. that I could put into a book that I haven't done before. And so, you know, it's, it is a little bit hard because you can only have so many tornadoes, hurricanes, blizzards, yeah. falling off cliffs, <clears throat> grizzly bears, you know, these sorts of things. But I'm always trying to look for something, something new. But yeah, I do kind of like the danger survival thing. I'm, I'm very much into those kind of TV shows where I can be like, oh, how did they survive? And so, yeah. Have you done one of those yet? Like, have you gone off on a survival trip or something? Oh, no, no. I, well, I was an, I'm an outside, I'm an outdoorsy girl. And so I ski, I used to ski until I had my knee replaced, but I, I ski, I have a scuba dive. I've been skydiving hiking, you know, whitewater, whitewater canoeing, whitewater rafting, all those kinds of stuff. I like doing those things. And Mm -hmm. so I haven't ever really gotten into big trouble. Um, I did run out of air once when I was a hundred meters or a hundred feet down in the Mediterranean sea and had to buddy breathe on my way up. So that's my closest brush with danger, (laughs) but I was fine. So, but otherwise, no, I haven't really, but I kind of imagine what it could be like, Mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Now, do you have the other two books finished or are you still working on them? Yes. Yeah, so the other two books are finished. Um, the, the second one is already edited and it is into proofing. And so it, and it comes out in May. And that was the thing. I really worked yeah. hard last year with Ravel to get all three books out in one year. And so kudos to Ravel, because this is not a normal thing. People right. don't usually have a series that releases all three books in mm-hmm. one year, but they were, they were like, yes, we understand the urgency of it. Just trying to get it out. So yeah. So they agreed. So the first one's in, just came out in January. The second one comes out in like May, late May or June. I can't remember the exact date, but it's it's in the, it's in May or June area. And then the last one comes out in October. So readers will get the whole series in one year, which is good because the books actually take place themselves from like March to about July. So the books okay. themselves are kind of a tighter tighter frame. So anyway, yeah. So it's a really fun series, and it's very. Um, it's, it's very cutting edge, actually. I didn't realize when I developed the overarching plot how close to home it would hit. So it's something that would be very interesting for readers, I think, to see. And I, I, I will talk about that thread a little bit more as we get into the series. I don't want to, I don't want to open up that thread yet until we get at least the first book out because the second book really dives into that thread a little bit more. And then the third one brings it home. So anyway, but it's a lot of, it was, it was very fun to research and very Uh interesting. And, um, and yeah, and I, the funny thing is, is I plotted it like two and a half years ago, three years ago. And and so anyway, it was very interesting, but oh, yes, fun, fun, fun book. Yeah. We always have to wait a year to get a book. Yeah, yeah right. I These are fast. They come out. I mean, and, and in fact, what I really loved is that I tried to put a little bit of a hint of the new problem in the back of every uh-huh. story. So I finished the book and then the last scene is, oh, a hint of what happens next. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of fun. So the story kind of keeps going pretty, pretty quickly then. And, and I think we'll have some teasers and stuff out for readers and stuff, but yeah, it was very fun. So I, I finished editing the second one and and the third one is now in they're working on it and all that kind of stuff. And I'll get it here soon. So, oh, yeah, fun. Very fun. Fun, fun. so what's the next series going to be? Do you know? <laughs> well, um, I am thinking about staying in Alaska and, mm-hmm. um, and we, I kind of created a town and I like, I like to live in that town for a little while and explore yeah. all the different people. So I created this town called Copper Mountain uh, in my Smoke Jumper series. And then I've kept it going through this one. And so we've met some very interesting players in this town. So mm-hmm. we might stay in this town for a little while and figure out who the Star family is and the Bowie family and the Remington family and this sort of thing. So it, it's kind of what's perking in my head right now. Oh, I love that all those people live in your head. That's exciting. Way too much room. It's hard. <laughs> well, thank you so much for stopping by and taking time to talk to us here at Family Fiction. And if you like what you've heard today and are excited about these books, make sure to go now to your local Christian bookstore if you can, buy local, and pick up Sunrise by Susan May Warren. And if you like this chapter of the Christian Fiction Bookshelf podcast, make sure to subscribe below so you never miss another chapter. Thanks, guys. Thank you. <laughs>